Hi everybody. In this video, I show you how to create a Google automation for a funnel product. When someone buys a product on your funnel, the Funnelish app automatically creates a row on a Google Sheet. Before we start, make sure the Funnelish app is linked to your Google account. If you haven't done that yet, stop here and connect the app to your Google account. It only takes a couple of minutes. If you're not sure what to do, go to the Funnelish knowledge base. We show you how to do that in a different video. Okay, here we go. First, log into your Funnelish account and open a funnel. Click the step which has your product or products. Click one product. On the side panel, scroll down to the bottom. You can add Google integration to an existing automation or create a new one. In this example, I'm going to click Create New Automation. In the next window, choose the event you want to track on your Google Sheet with a new row. I'm going to click on Purchase and then Save Changes. On the next window, click Google Sheets. Click the Action field and select Add New Row. Click the Spreadsheet field and select the file name. Click the Sheet field and select the correct sheet name. Now it's time to map data. You're going to connect data fields on your funnel to data columns on the Google Sheet. Click the Add Field Mapping link and then click the first box on the left. The drop down menu shows you the possible data fields in the funnel. If you want to add any of this information to your Google Sheet, you have to add column names that match up with the labels. Here's an example. I want to collect the customer's email address in my Google Sheet. So I click Email on the left side. On the right side, click the box and choose the column that will collect emails. Click the Mapping button and repeat the same steps for each type of data you want to save on the Google Sheet. To save time, you can click the Auto Mapping button. Be sure to go line by line and confirm the mapping is correct. If something doesn't look right, click a box and change the mapping. Click Save Changes on this page and the next one. Now you're done.